What's your background and why are you here? I have been working for human rights for uh, four decades by now. The last assignment I had was I was uh, Commissioner for Human Rights in the Council of Europe. Uh, before that I was uh, working for the Swedish government as a human rights ambassador. And before that I was very active in the uh, non-governmental community, Secretary General of Swedish Save the Children and the Secretary General of Amnesty International. Uh could you briefly summarize your presentation, uh, your, the speech you gave today? What, what did you talk about? So my speech focused on uh, uh, economic problems and uh, the current economic crisis, which has uh, victimized the poorest and the most vulnerable in our societies. The gaps have increased even before the recent crisis. Uh, in fact, in Europe, uh, the gaps the inequalities have uh, increased during three decades by now and this has made uh, the most needy people in the society in a very uh, difficult situation and this is a real problem which I feel the politicians now must address with the spirit of solidarity. Um. And in what way is social work and social development essential to human rights? Social work is absolutely key for human rights because among the human rights that we have agreed upon are also social rights and economic rights, which means that people have the right to a decent standard of living, housing, work, decent work, and also health care when needed. And this, of course, is particularly important for for children, the next generation. So this is an important part of uh, human rights. And how does the challenge of the global social agenda affect your work and your commitment? Uh, the, the agenda is absolutely crucial for the work for human rights. In fact, uh, social equality and human rights are very much linked to one another. Uh, we know that human rights are better protected in societies which are more equal and at the same time the work for equality makes it possible to advance also uh, human rights including the traditional freedoms um, freedom of speech freedom of expression so the linkage is is very clear and that should be recognized by politicians and what does it mean that uh over 2,500 2, people from about 100 countries meet like this in, in this way. Why is this important? I, I think the most important aspect of a meeting like this one, with so many people from so many countries uh, coming to the same place, is a discussion between themselves. Uh, speeches could be good, and uh, what I've heard so far has been impressive. But I think the uh, the discussion and dialogue in the breaks between people with different experiences but with the same hope for improvements uh, is important. It gives ideas and uh, hopefully this will have an effect in the individual home countries. What expectations do you have on the conference? I think this conference uh, should uh, aim for uh, inspiration. Inspiration and of course some sharing of experiences from uh, different countries. I think with that, that social work will be more uh, competent and thereby more respected in the individual home countries. What is your impression of the conference so far? My impression from this conference is actually very positive because I see um, an atmosphere and a contact between people from different parts of the world which bodes for uh, a more energetic uh, work against uh, the problems that we have today when uh, decisions are taken which are not really in favor of the most vulnerable in our societies and there is a need to meet that with uh, a, a new agenda with a, a better program in order to create justice social justice for everyone Three words describing the conference? Uh, good spirit, spirit of solidarity, an exchange of uh, important experiences from different countries. That's your summary? My summary is that this will 
uh, hopefully uh, contribute to uh, more competent and thereby more effective work for the most vulnerable in our societies.